That's the math guy, Steve. Let's try a straight problem. Given that the cosine of theta equals negative 4 over 5, and that theta is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, find the sine of theta over 2. Now, so here, we'd say since it's in quadrant 2, our triangle looks something like this, where there is theta. All right. So we find the sides by, it gives us that the cosine of theta is negative 4 over 5. I mean, the cosines, the x over the r, or this would have to be negative 4, this would have to be 5. We drew our triangle. We found two of the sides. Now we need to find the third side. We find the third side. Put that going there. Okay. So uh, x squared plus y squared is r squared. Okay. That's negative 4 squared plus y squared equals 5 squared. So that's what? 16 plus y squared is 25. Meaning y squared is 9. Then take the square root. Don't forget the plus or minus. So y equals plus or minus 3. So how do we know if it's plus or minus? Well, that's why we drew the triangle in the correct quadrant. Here, in this quadrant, the y's are positive, so we know it's positive 3. So we're trying to find the sides. Now let's try to answer that question. This question asks us to find the sine of theta over 2. The formula says this equals um, plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of theta all over 2. So that would be plus or minus the square root of 1 minus negative 4 fifths all over 2. We simplify this, we multiply each of these fractions by 5. So take the square root of the top, square root of the bottom. So that's plus or minus 3 over root 10, or in other words, uh, plus or minus 3 root 10 all over 10. So then the question is, is it plus or is it minus? Well, to find that out, we need to know, well, where is theta over 2? Now, we know theta is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. And theta over 2 is in quadrant 1, okay? It's between 45 degrees and 90 degrees. So you know the signs in quadrant one are all positive, and so we know it would be the positive three square root of ten over ten. Okay. Always remember, math is everywhere.